have one senior on our team today, Jose Barado. Just Woo! That'll come later. That'll come later. For the next four years, he's won some big matches. I know, during the conference, <laughs> and I couldn't ask any more from him. He gave me 110% every day, whether it was practice, a match, or anything, that I asked him. Was Jose Barado was there to do it for me. And I, like I always make that big statement, if I was gonna have a son, it would be Jose Barado, for sure. But I just wanna tell you guys that I'm gonna miss him. His academic status for four years, he was on Dean's list on every award this past summer. He worked in Wall Street as an intern. I'm not going to worry about his success. You know, in tennis, he'll be fine, and in the real world, he'll be fine. And Jose Barado, I just want to say it was an honor to be your coach in these four years. And I want to say, hang on a second. And this is what we do. This is kind of from the old school, an old Murray State plaque that I give to my seniors. And hopefully, you'll put that up and remember Murray State for the rest of your life. And thank you again for being a racer. Yeah, it went by so fast for me. I mean, it feels like yesterday I came here first day, meeting with me out, meeting the old team because this is a totally new team for us. But it went by really fast, and I'm really excited for today. You know, uh, you're the old man now. I'm the old man. I mean, last year it was five seniors, and I was thinking, wow, they are the old. I'm still playing. I still have more year, and now that's me, and I'm the only one. <laughs> have, you, have you thought about uh, the difference in your life that Murray State University's made? Uh, it made a huge difference for me. I mean, playing for Mel Purcell, uh, he taught me a lot of things, not only about tennis, but how to behave. And I mean, he taught me how to work hard. And um, I don't know where I would be if I didn't come here. Well, you got some playing yet to do. And yeah. uh, I know that you're pointing towards that OVC tournament. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we still have uh, four more matches. Four more matches. I mean, we're planning on having. Uh, three win streak now. Uh, it's going to be tough to beat Moorhead and EKU on the road, but I think we have good chances. We're all playing better now since the beginning of the season. So, I mean, I'm pretty excited for about that. Well, he was talking awful good about you just now. But yeah. Jose Barado, I tell you, when he first arrived at Murray, he won the Western match, and that's why he's always been a favorite of mine, because if, for the old days, it's always great to beat Western. But I'm going to miss him, because he played like a, a senior that day as a freshman. And overall, he won a couple big matches in the OVC tournament, and that was one thing I expect from my players, is to play big matches when we, when we have them. And Jose's just been a great guy off the court, too, academically. I've asked everything, 110% from him, and he will be sorely missed. Uh, he's a, a tremendous competitor, isn't he? He, he is, and he, Jose's a big guy. You know, he relies on his, on his first serve and then his big forehand, and uh, he just plays a lot of tough matches. Uh, the Brazilian style is a little more clay court rounded, so sometimes on the hard courts they do have to work a little harder. But uh, once again, he gave me 110%, and uh, I'm definitely going to miss him.